Have you ever tried importing a file into Adobe After Effects using the dynamic link? Suddenly you only see this frustrating error message on your screen and which was saying that Adobe After Effects must install to import the file. But in reality, you have already downloaded the Adobe After Effects from the Creative Cloud to your device. It can be really frustrating, especially whenever you are on a very tight deadline. But don't worry because in this video, I will be taking you step by step through the process of troubleshooting and resolving this error. Whether you are a seasoned Adobe After Effects user or just starting out, this tutorial is for you. So if you are ready to get your dynamic link working again and start creating those awesome projects in Adobe After Effects, then keep watching. In order to tackle these particular problems, I will just show you step by step. So make sure just follow this all the instructions and trust me, it's super duper easy. Just follow all the things that I will say. And even if you have any confusions, anything, just comment it. First thing first, what do we need to do is, since our Adobe After Effects, it's already installed in our Creative Cloud, as you can see over here. And um, we have to open our PC means the file and after you open the file as you can see there is it on this pc click on it and you will see windows uh, with c just click on it after you click on that uh, there will be written as a program files and then program files x86 so you have to click on program files since we are dealing with the adobe software that is adobe after effect just click on the adobe software we are looking for adobe after effect 2023 not the Adobe Premium, not the Adobe Edition or Photoshop, Adobe After Effects 2023. So right now, main goal is to click on support files, okay? If once you click there, so since we are having a problems with the dynamic link, our primary goal is to find the dynamic link manager, one of the files over there, okay? So just click, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, sc uh, there somewhere you will just find out XE, yeah, this one. So dynamic link manager dot x x e is kind of an extension file where you cannot be able to edit x y so just right click it and as you can see there is rename it so if you can remain rename it like this then fine if not then just click on show more properties and then you will see there is as a rename so what do we have to do is as you can see there x e x e all right e x e so remove this e x e there are dot is here no problem fine remove this exe and then after you type old just click enter from your keyboard and it will say that if you change the name of the file the file might be unusable that's fine no worry it doesn't matter click on yes so after you click on yes right now next steps what we will going to do is our goal is to download the creative cloud cleaner well in order to download this creative cloud cleaner i will just attach the link in the description there are multiple of them that are available out there so this is the specific one that we will going to use in order to solve this particular problem if you want to find it by yourself that is also absolutely fine so what you have to do is just copy this name like type there creative uh, creative cloud cleaner over there either in your beans or maybe in the google chrome and from there just click on the first one all right so the first one the one that start with uh, help x adobe so click it and then open it and then scroll it down directly below once you scroll down you will notice there is a download icon all right so in the download icon just click on the download icon before clicking on the download icon here is the thing i need to forget to tell select the your os which means uh, operating system so if you're using windows just click on windows if you're using mac os that means just click on mac os since i'm using windows so click on download after you click on download then here is some of the instruction they were given such as once the item has downloaded especially in your google chrome then just click right click it and then open it by clicking on that upward arrow if not then just directly go to your file and find this folder and right click it and then run as administration however if you're using the bean then what do you have to do is just you will see their pop up uh, things that will say the items has been downloaded and all the files logo icon just click on open so what i will do is i will just click on open after i click on open it will ask for permission just click on yes hopefully it will 
After that, they will ask whether you want English or Japanese. Since I'm not Japanese, I don't speak Japanese. I'm sorry, English me. English. And these are all of the agreement XYZ things. You don't need to read. If you want to, then you can. But better just click on Y as a yes you are agree here is the main steps you have to follow there will be many number but the specific one was the phone number because we are dealing with the creative cloud app type phone number and then click enter from your keyboard then here you have to choose which particular applications we need to remove or clean up and uh, we are having problems with the after effect dynamic clean our main goal is to remove the after effect install it from our system like after effect it will be in 15 so type here from your keyboard 15 and and then click enter from your keyboard and then again it will ask whether you want to confirm it again so it's click on y and then again enter it it will take some time for the system to remove the after effect from the device and once that is done and then just click on enter from your keyboard again in order to get out from this particular application once this step is done we need to come back to our creative cloud directly so from the creative cloud you will see that after effect is still exist in the creative cloud in reality it's not so don't click anywhere what you have to do is don't even open the premiere pro or after effect right now just go to your uh, profile in the creative cloud and then sign it out just click on continue so right now you do need to sign in after you finally sign in with your creative uh, cloud account first thing first you have to see whether the adobe after effect has removed or not finally it's removed but then scroll it down and click on installing but 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 before installing it i just want you to do one right click of your mouse by putting the pointer over here and then click on task manager after you go to the task manager just ensure that the adobe after effect is not running over here if it does then just click on it and then just end task because you have to close it before we remove it by alternative way but in case if it was running still in the background then you have to better just remove it by forcefully after you remove everything was fine so right now our goal is to download the adobe after effect again click on uh, install after effect Damn. after waiting for a few minutes finally the adobe after effect it has installed right now it is adding the cinema 4d by maxon so there is finally the after effect it has been installed so right now the last 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 thing what do we have to do just test it whether finally the problem has solved or it's not what i'm going to do i'm going to open up my adobe premium pro and by the way guys if you are using a different uh, adobe software such as adobe illustrator or adobe animator any of the software and you want to dynamically link it to the after effect then just open your that particular software rather than downloading the adobe premium pro and i will just pull up my files all right no worry it's showing some sort of error or virus kind of things let me just first save and i will just remove the audio because if i don't then i will get copyright strike so let's say this is the clip everything yeah and right click to it and then replace with after effect so adobe after effect just pop up from nowhere and let's see because we need to dynamically link it with a specific clip as you can see that you have to save that particular clip again subscribe and like this video and then i will save it oh my goodness okay i think there is already another folder i just made it so subscribe and like this video like uh, subscribe and like this real okay so it finally saved after it got saved what do we have to do we have to check it so this is the shalik masjid that was located in united arab emirates so at this point if the problem gets solved then alhamdulillah that's very very good if not you can just comment it below i will try to reach out to you or i will give you some solutions alternative solutions if i if i do not give any solution then somebody else can see your problem and they will also try to help you out no worry